What's up guys Roy here and once again welcome back to the Roy universe so today this is a uh, new brand new video and today I'm going to show you how to update your galaxy s10 plus to latest one UI 2.1 so as you can see this is the galaxy s10 plus last year Samsung flagship device and we have got the update and um, this update contains all the s20 family features so let's go and get started without any delay so let me turn my screen recorder on so that I can um show you very well so let's go and get started going to the settings first of all let's check the software version as you can see while we go to the software information we see that it's running one ui 2.0 2.0 based on android 10 and uh, this is android 10 and the one ui version is 2.0 so we will be updating this to the latest version of one ui that is 2.1 which features all the software information and all the software features of the Galaxy S20 family. So without any delay, we will go to the settings option. Going to the settings option, let's scroll down and find the software update section. Here you click on the download, download and install option. It may take some time to check for updates. The update was released almost 15 days ago and it was a global release but many of the uh, as you can see yes it is it is here and we can see the software is available and uh, it is almost around 1600 MB 1600 MB so it is a uh, true package update and it is a uh, new and actually a better software update not like any security patch or something so you can read here all that is mentioned with what you are going to get with this software update so you want if you want to read further and if you want to know more details about it click on the link uh, there uh, cl if you click on the link you might be uh, derived to the uh, directed to the browser where you can see all the important information about this software update this particular software update and uh, so let's download it and uh, as you know I'm not connected to any Wi-Fi so it is going to take a lot of time and uh, so th till then sit back and relax but I would recommend you to join a Wi-Fi network or download this via a Wi-Fi network because this is going to be um, almost 1600, M uh, 1600 MB 1.6 GB and this is a huge package so it is going to take a lot of time so let's see uh, it's showing 32 minutes but let's see how long it takes so this update uh, let's go and check how much it is done so it's almost done as you see more 30 to 40 seconds just I was doing I was updating this with a cellular network because I had no Wi-Fi in my home and so as the update is already been downloaded almost it is more just 10 seconds more keep calm sit back and relax if you if you're really facing some network issues or something so one second and yes yep it's done so as it is done there would be two options either you schedule the install or uh, install later or you may install it right now so let's go and click on install now without any delay let's do this so let me turn off my screen recorder first so now let's install now as you can see the installation has already started it's showing the please wait option so make sure you you keep some patience during the software update because this is a huge package and it's going to take a lot of time so preparing to update this this might be quick some uh, this might be too quick and no issues so it is preparing to update android update so this update almost consists of all the software features that are enhanced and packaged in the galaxy s20 family not the hardware features please note it down so the phone is off now and it is rebooting and it is uh, implementing and optimizing all the software new software update so let's see yes it's turning on i have already fast forwarded forwarded this video because uh, this took actually took a long time and uh, so that you can um, all you can all have all this uh, access uh, very in a short period so as you can see optimizing app it is optimizing then uh, it is quick and now it will be optimizing the storage so we are done now yeah we are done optimizing storage right now let's see what happens next so now as you can see the 
फोन इज रिबूटिंग इट इज स्टार्टिंग एंड सैमसंग 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 गैलेक्सी एस टेन प्लस द फोन इज रेडी नाउ आई थिंक द बैटरी देर इज अ शॉर्ट इज अ बैटरी यूज थर्टी वन परसेंट टू समथिंग प्लीज हैव सम पेशेंस बिकॉज वंस द सॉफ्टवेयर इज अपडेटेड इट मे टेक सम टाइम इट मे यू मे फील सम लैग मे बी वैल यू आर रिस्टार्टिंग इट बिकॉज वंस द सॉफ्टवेयर इज ऑप्टिमाइज टू योर डिवाइस इट मे टेक सम टाइम आई एम मेकिंग आई एम डूइंग हेयर ए क्विक ग्रॉस दैट मीन्स इट विल टेक सम टाइम सो एज यू कैन सी इट इज नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग लेट्स सी लेट्स हैव सम पेशेंस एंड दैट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वैल यू आर यूजिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ फोन स्पेशली एंड्रॉयड फोन सो लेट्स सी नाउ Yeah, one more try. Yeah, it's out. So, look, the finishing system update. Uh, did you see that? Yeah, the system update uh, uh, is not being finished. So it will take some time. So once it is done, um, let me turn on my screen recorder. Uh, once it is done, you will see that everything will be working utterly and utterly smooth. So. Once let's go to the settings and check whether uh, the One UI version has been updated or not. Let's see. I'm telling once again this is not the Android update, but it, this is the UI update. So we are going to get the latest. Uh, as you can see, the update uh, system uh, finishing system update has not been finished, so it is the uh, lagging a bit. But uh, make sure uh, you do this after once your system is uh, updated well. And uh, this is important to see. This is important to see. Let's go to the settings. and see the software information that how it has already been done yeah here we go and here we are getting the one ui version 2.1 so that's it we are done no issues so that's all for today guys one ui 2.1 in the galaxy s10 family hope you like this video uh, comment and share please